rocket safety is of the utmost importance. A safe launch is a good launch. The first step is to ensure that your rocket is built with the correct adhesives. If you have followed the instructions, your rocket will meet the safety guidelines for a safe launch. The next step is choosing a site to launch your rocket. The National Association of Rocketry, or NAR, has adopted the following guidelines for the minimum safe dimensions of a launch site based upon the engine you will be using. Find the size of the engine you will be using and note the minimum site dimensions in square feet. In addition, please ensure that there are no restrictions in your local area. Not all public parks allow model rocketry and always be alert of fire danger in your area. Avoid locations with overhead power lines or structures that may impede your launch and recovery, and do not launch on private land without permission. NAR has also adopted the following guidelines for model rocket safety. Please follow these guidelines to ensure a safe and enjoyable experience. After you have selected your launch site, you will need a launch pad and launch controller. For beginner rocketeers, we recommend the Estes launch pad system that includes a pad and controller to launch your low power rockets. We prefer, for advanced rocketeers, the GoBox system. This attaches to a 12 volt sealed lead acid battery or a car battery and can launch anything from low power to high power. Okay, we're going to get the Athena ready to launch. Now you could take this right out of the box, attach the parachute and fly it. Here's how you get it ready. First you put a motor in. Estes motors come in a pack like this. This is a B44 motor. The nozzle end with the small opening goes down and it'll click right into place. And now you want to pack some of this fire resistant wadding. You just make a little ball with it and shove it in. And for this rocket, three pieces or four pieces should be ample. We'll do four. Just push that down. This will protect the parachute, which is here. For the parachute, we like to open them up, make sure that the lines are not tangled, pinch them down, and then you can either fold it in half and wrap the lines around it. Just wrap it loosely as such. So not tight and try not to put a twist in there. And then you press the elastic shock cord down in place. And the parachute and it should fit in there gently so that it can slide out easy and then make sure it's all tucked in so that the nose cone can fit on snug but also loose at the same time all that's left is the igniter and your motors will come with igniters as well as a plug Take one of the igniters, there's two to a pack, or there's actually there should be four igniters in this set, and then take a plug, I like to bend the igniter slightly open, peel off one of the plugs. Sometimes you have to pop this little topper off the end. 
don't drop it in the grass or if you do just pick it up place the igniter inside the motor press in the plug to hold it in place bend it forward spread apart the the leads and that's ready for launch all right so to get our rocket for ready for launch we're going to take off the little protective cap on here and uh, just tuck that away in a pocket and then you're going to line up uh, your rocket and slide it on the uh, uh, the rod here and we're going to take that down and it sometimes helps to have a little standoff here to keep the rocket from sliding all the way down and we have that just a roll of tape around the uh, the rod there helps a little bit and then we like to tuck our uh, um, our clips through the, the stand just so they don't get pulled up when the rocket launches and then uh, we're just going to clip them right on the igniter here one on each side and uh, you're gonna want to make sure that they're not touching each other or any metal surfaces and uh, then you should be good for continuity and launch so they're spread apart and not touching any uh, metal so we should be good to launch this rocket all right, so we're gonna launch the Estes Athena on a B44. Launching in five, four, three, two, one. Still have continuity, let me try it one more time. Launching in five, four, three, two, one. All right, so we're gonna launch the Estes Athena on a B44. Before you launch, make sure the range is clear and everyone is clear of the rocket. And then uh, just make sure you're a safe distance away and then you can put your safety key in and launch the rocket. And so we're gonna launch it. Five, four, three, two, one. Parachute is out. Looks good. Right in the sun. <laughs> Estes Athena. Coming down really nice. It's a nice park flyer. Yeah, it looks like it came down well within the park. Yep. It's a really nice rocket. Alright, let's go recover it. So, recovering our rocket, uh, you'll see the shoots out because it, uh, the ejection system deployed successfully, and uh, that's good. So, when you recover your rocket, you're going to want to make sure the parachute isn't blown around because that can damage the, the parachute. So, uh, what you can either do is just crumple up the chute and then carry the rocket back with you, or if you want to be extra sure, you can uh, roll up the chute, fold it in half, kind of squeeze that, and then uh, tie or rather wrap your uh, parachute shroud lines around the parachute and then you're going to want to put your uh, ejection or your sorry your shock cord back in the body tube pack that down nice and tight and then uh, tuck your parachute back into the rocket also one tip before you head back is uh, make sure your rocket's not damaged if a fin came off uh, you're going to want to make sure you, you find it while you're out where your rocket landed uh, because usually that can be repaired and uh, you want to make sure you recover all your rocket parts before you head back because it can be kind of difficult to find them if, uh, if you forgot where your rocket landed. Then we got that in there, put the nose cone on nice and snug, and uh, you're ready to go launch your next rocket.